Well, let's get straight into the live action. And this is the young woman that has had a brilliant championship. She's very much the new star of these European championships, Verona Vandeleur. And of course, Vandeleur already claiming one silver in the vault, the first of the individual apparatus to be contested here in Greece. She took a silver as part of that successful Dutch team in competition one and was also the runner-up to Corkina in competition two. Now, Monica, I know you've got this as a potential gold medal in the beam. Yes, I think she's just lost it, though, because she's had a couple of uh, mini crises after her Mostapanova Arabian walkover. She had a wobble. Uh, unfortunately, any little wobble, the odd tenths, the chip away at the final score. But I've really got my money on her for floor. I'd love to see her get a gold on floor. She's the highest ranking person on floor at this competition. But that wobble there is really what might have cost her it. But super work, packed with difficulty. There the full twisting Corbett holding the beam well between the thighs rather than dropping down heavily onto her crutch, saving with strength all of the skills with minimum effect on her physique. There the flick layout. She really has so much difficulty in the exercise. They've got one minute, 30 seconds to cram as much difficulty as they can. And uh, finishing off with a smashing two and a half twister and anchoring the landing a lot better than she did in the all around. Well, let's see if that's enough. The competitors before her, which have been Suzanne Holmes, also of Holland, uh, Regis of France, and Beth Tweddle of the United Kingdom. Each and every one of them has had their fair share of troubles. We've yet to see a perfect performance on the beam. And 9.187 goes into first position. We're still to see Gomez of Spain, Kurkina of Russia, Colombo, and Ayova also of the Russian squad.